Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Sleep well. What? Where am I? Who are you? Does it matter? You're warm, dry, and still very much alive. That's more than can be said for old Grelod, hmm? How do you know about that? Half of Skyrim knows. Old hag gets butchered in her own orphanage. Things like that tend to get around. Oh, but don't misunderstand. I'm not criticizing. It was a good kill. Old Crone had it coming. And you saved a group of urchins to boot. But there is a slight... Mm, problem. You see, that little Aretino boy was looking for the Dark Brotherhood. For me and my associates. Grelod the Kind was, by all rights, a Dark Brotherhood contract. A kill that you stole. A kill you must repay. I can't help it that you people are so slow. So you want me to murder someone else then? Who? Well now, funny you should ask. If you turn around, you'll notice my guests. I've collected them from, well, that's not really important. The here and now, that's what matters. You see, there's a contract out on one of them, and that person can't leave this room alive. But, oh, which one? Go on, see if you can figure it out. Make your choice, make your kill. I just want to observe and admire. Am I to take your silence as acceptance? Then you know where we stand. Make your kill and we're square. Repayment of your debt is but a discreet knife thrust away. Hmm. Well, will you look at that? The anticipation is killing me. Can you figure out who has the contract? Which one will you choose? Full theme, the fearless. I, I can hear you talking out there. Please let me go. I've done nothing to you. Why would someone pay to have you killed? What? Oh, God. I, I don't want to die. Answer me, or die. Wait, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm a soldier. I've killed people when I was ordered to. Maybe there was some times. Sometimes I got carried away. But uh, war is war, right? Nobody could blame me for that. Could they? They probably could. What you, miss. Alia Quintus. Whatever it is, I'm sorry. Howard. Why would someone pay to have you home. killed? Excuse me. What kind of question is that? One last time. Would someone pay to have you killed? I'm kneeling here with my hands bound and a sack over my head. And you have the gall to ask me that? What do you think, genius? Hmm. I think that you have a smart mouth and that would definitely encourage someone to kill you. I don't have time for this nonsense. 
I've got a home to keep and children to feed. Come no. now, whatever the problem, we can Come talk about here. it like civilized folk. Hmm? Why would someone pay to have you killed? Me? <laughs> Are you serious? Answer me, or I'll paint this room with your blood. Fool, don't you get it? I live in the shadow of death every day. A knife in every doorway. A knocked arrow on every rooftop. If one of my enemies would not pay to have me killed, I would take it as a personal insult. Tell you what, you release me and I promise my associates will not hunt you down like an animal and butcher you in the street. It is a To me, my bow. I've made my decision. And you, with your smart mouth, are going to be the first to go. And you. Since you think it would be an insult for you not to be killed, then die. Hmm. And you can just die for the pleasure of me having to kill you. really want to kill you, but there'll be a time for that later. All right. Well, well. Aren't we the overachiever? Three possibilities, three victims. Must have been one of them, right? So why take chances? Well, well. Aren't we the overachiever? Three possibilities, three victims. Must have been one of them, right? So why take chances? You told me to kill. And I did. Don't make me kill you next. Indeed. For you, my friend, seem to understand what's truly important. When I give an order to spill blood, you follow it. No questions, no remorse. Hmm. So I'm free to go? Of course. And you've repaid your debt in full. Here's the key to the shack. But why stop here? I say we take our relationship to the next level. I would like to officially extend to you an invitation to join my family. The Dark Brotherhood. In the southwest reaches of Skyrim, in the Pine Forest, you'll find the entrance to our sanctuary. It's just beneath the road, hidden from view. When questioned by the Black Door, answer with the correct passphrase, Silence, my brother. Then you're in, and your new life begins. I'll see you at home. You'll be seeing me all Remember, right. Remember, the sanctuary is in the southern pine forest, just beneath the road and away from prying eyes. See if these people had anything on them. <laughs> An executioner hood. The chest was empty, so I guess I'm leaving. Well, I've infiltrated the Dark Brotherhood. And there's something so familiar about that Astrid. I can't wait to craft my memory potion and have my memories restored because I think that Astrid is going to be in them. Ah. A sky shard. If 
I find three of them, I unlock a skill point. Alright, well, let's see if I can find this uh, place she wants me to go to. on the map. I have no idea where this pine forest is. I do recall, though, at Dawnstar there was a, a sanctuary there. Alright, what enemies are nearby? Finish collecting this death bell. Not the right marker, though. Well, oh, here we go. Silence, my brother. Looks like I can make myself at home here. And so ah, we meet again. At last. I hope you found the place all right. So what happens now? Well, what happens now is you start your new life in the Dark Brotherhood. You're part of the family, after all. This, as you can see, is our sanctuary. You won't find a safer place in all of Skyrim. So get comfortable. When do I get to kill someone? Soon, my dearest. Soon. I'm arranging a job for you, but I need some more time. For now, go talk to Nazir. He may have some smaller contracts to tide you over. Soon, the Night Mother will arrive. And things around here are sure to get even more interesting. Ah, uh, but one last thing. 
a welcome home present. The armor of the Dark Brotherhood. May it serve you well in all your endeavors. Be sure and introduce yourself to your new family members. They're all very eager to meet you. Extra things, it's shrouded robes. If I was a mage, I think that's what I'd probably wear. I'm gonna keep my thieves' guild uh, armor on for the moment. I'll probably need to take this uh, other armor and strengthen it. Oh, yes, have us if you don't. Oh, yes, please, kind sir. My mom and papa left me all alone, and I'm so very hungry. I know a shortcut to the candy shop through this alley. Oh, yeah, very good, very good. Mine is dark down here. Oh, but you're so beautiful. Such it's one of those word sky. walls. Your teeth! No! Hurrah! <laughs> no, but you are so wicked. What about you, Festus? How about that last contract turn up? Oh, yes, please, old man. Regale us with your tales of wizardry. My contract went very well, I'll have you know. Tried a new spell. Little something I've been working on in my spare time. Came this close to turning so that So you're the newest out. member of our dwindling, dysfunctional little family. I've heard quite a bit about you. You will hear even more, I assure you. Ooh, cocky. I give you three days before you screw up and someone runs a knife across your throat. But who knows, I've been proven wrong before. Astrid said you have some work for me. Did she now? Well, as it turns out, there are a few lingering contracts we haven't had the chance to complete just yet. And more, dribbling in from time to time. I'll assign them to you as they become available to be completed at your leisure. It sounds simple enough. It is. These aren't particularly glamorous assassinations, I'll be honest. Don't pay much either. But they'll keep you busy. Just do them as you're able. There's no real time limit. The targets aren't going anywhere. You can turn each one in as it's completed, or wait and turn in the whole group when all the targets have been eliminated. Whichever works for you. Hmm, I need training in light armor. I'll teach you how to use it effectively, and keep you quick on your feet. ready for the first set of contracts. Well, let's get started. I've got three available right now. Your targets are the beggar Narfi, an ex-miller named Enodius Papias, and Baytil, a mine boss. When you've completed all those, we'll see if I might have some more. You've got people to kill, my friend. Best get to it. Yes, do you have any more information on my targets? So many contracts. 
Tell me about Narfi. Living in some ruins just outside the village of Iverstead. Easy, even for you. Tell me about Betild. She separated from her husband several months ago. Now the two run competing mining operations. Betild's angry and desperate, a fighter. Tell me about Inodius. He lived just outside Anga's mill in the woods. He was once the miller. Now Papias is just a paranoid recluse who thinks someone is out to get him. And he's right. What can you tell me about yourself? Ah, well, I'm Redguard, as I'm sure you've noticed. Though not like most of my kind you'll find in Skyrim, that's for damn sure. I am a child of Hammerfell, born of the sands of the mighty Alakir. In that great desert, blood is a shade of crimson I can scarce describe. My past is long and storied, and not altogether proud. But the Dark Brotherhood saved me from myself, and I have never looked back. Hmm, interesting story. Happy hunting. Thank you. Alright, so I can choose any of these. Alright, we'll go with Baytild first. Need something? I'm afraid I don't have a primary contract for you yet. That's all right. All right, let's see how far this bay tilled is. That Dawn Star. I don't know how wise it would be to come dressed in assassin's clothing. I really don't want to advertise my business. Even though dressed as a thief, I'm probably doing the same thing. But being able to do both at the same time is even more amazing. So here's my target. Can it really be this simple? suppose it is. I'm liking this, uh, Dark Brotherhood already. I can kill two birds with one stone. Killing and stealing. <laughs> oh, look at this. And why don't I just cook a meal while I'm here, too? sense in letting a good uh, stew pot go to waste. Hmm. Sleep well for eternity. I 
been looking for you. What? That's something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Okay. Let's see. I have a letter here for you. Now there's a new lady in charge of the orphanage drifted. She asked me to hand out these notices to everyone I met. Ah. Uh. Looks like that's it. Got to go. So they've got a replacement for Grelod, that's good. Is this it? Speak with Constance, Michael, or Michelle about adoption? In these days of war and strife, the orphans of Skyrim are the true victims. Many have no one left to turn to and face a life of hard labor, poverty, and misery. If you could provide a stable home for one of these innocent children, please consider adoption. Whether you choose to adopt from us or take in someone closer to home, you can make a difference in a child's life. For more information, inquire with Constance, Michael, or Michelle. Honor Hall Orphanage in Riften. Well, I certainly don't have a stable home. We'll just drop that. Let somebody else uh, discover it. My home is pretty much my hideout. In between killing and thievery, it's no place for a child. All right, where's our next victim? And let, I don't even think we have the right thing selected. Hold on here. Oh, I have to report back to him, or... We can go after Enodius Pop... Popius. somebody else I think I only looted two bodies anyway we'll just keep going
don't see him, but I don't want him to see me either. Look at this mud crabs, really? to get rid of those. This guy's asleep. Oh my god, I feel bad about doing this. Rip. Okay. And what they say, the second time is the charm. He's dead. I need some salt for cooking. Okay, who else is next on this list? Narfi, Narfil, Narfi. It's not that poor guy that lost his sister that I think it is. Oh. All right. I mean, he is insane, so. Dragon, really? Okay. Hmm. Sorry, guy. It's not personal. All right, now we can head back. Telling you my assignments with the Thieves Guild were a lot more challenging than than these killing people quests. But the Night Mother is oh mother God. to all. Oh, it is her the... voice we follow, her will. Would you dare risk disobedience? And surely punishment? Keep talking, little man, and we'll see who gets punished. I'll be quiet, you great lumbering lap dog. Where is, um... The man has had a long journey. You can at least be civil. 
Where is Nasir? Here he is over here. Just what we need, a jester. All right. Haven't you talked to Astrid? She's by the pool greeting the Night Mother and her little jester. She has a contract for you. Come oh. see me afterward. Wait. I'm I'm here to see you, you now. To really? She's by the pool greeting the Night Mother and her little jester. She has a contract for you. Come see me afterward. Wow. I want my money back for killing those three people. Are you... What kind of place is this? I mean, there there isn't even a, a marker to go and talk to Astrid. Oh, Jesus. Ah, oh, there you are. Good. I was done speaking with that muttering fool anyway. We've got some business to discuss. Do you have a contract for me? I do indeed. You must go to the city of Markarth and speak with the apothecary's assistant. You'll probably find her in the hag's cure when the shop is open. The girl's been running her mouth. Wants an ex-lover killed. She's apparently performed the Black Sacrament. Her name is Muiri. I need you to talk to her, set up the contract, and carry it out. Anything else? Just do whatever the contact wishes. Be professional, represent us well, and get the job done. Since it's your first contract, I'll let you keep whatever Muiri pays. She'll be generous, I'm sure. They always are. Okay, now, can I go back here and talk to Nasir? And get my money. So, what of the old beggar Narthi? Is it done? Has he groveled for his last septum? How went your meeting with Enodius Papias? Did you prove his paranoia legitimate? Hmm. Narfi is Congratulations. dead. Congratulations. You slaughtered an emaciated beggar in cold blood. You are truly an opponent to be feared. Hmm. Here's your payment. You've got people to kill, my friend. So Anodius Papius is dead. So good. And I hope you were careful in that lumber mill. Those splinters and rusty nails can be quite nasty. Your payment for a job well done. Baytild is dead. Of course she is. I hear the mining business is extremely cutthroat. And those hours murder. I could do this all day. Here's your payment. What are your thoughts on Cicero and the Night Mother? I don't like mimes, hmm. minstrels, Who does? thespians, acrobats, Jugglers, troubadours, or tumblers. Flutists give me a headache. I particularly hate jesters. As a rule, I'm also not crazy about the corpses of old women. For the Night Mother, I'll make an exception. But Astrid is the only mistress I serve. You've got people to kill, my friend. Best get to it. Yes, of course. Brother. All right, well, that concludes my contracts with Nasir. Next time, we will embark on the contract that Astrid has laid out for us. Until then. Yeah.